Hey everyone, Coco Mojo here, back with another weekly vault opening video. Today I'm opening vaults on the Rogue and Druid, and to celebrate getting my M plus rating score for the season, I figured I'd start out on the Rogue. I've spent a lot of time in the last few days in LFG just just applying to groups and, and pugging a bunch of keys. Um, I've had pretty good luck actually with pugs. Unfortunately my, my group I, that I play with most of the time didn't have the keys that I needed for score, so I've been... Uh, playing with a lot of pugs for the last few days and uh, I've had some pretty good success actually so I might actually make a video at some point about my approach to pugging and plus as a rogue I think there's like a lot of a lot of impact potential for rogue and pugs and I think that might be a fun video to make but in terms of items let's see what do we want to get honestly our rogue is like pretty much finished there's only very minor upgrades that we can get Either you know a new ring, although I'm still working on farming up my um, my stones for the onyx amulet, but uh, maybe a, a new ring that has a, you know tertiary or something could be nice. Um, that's pretty much it, honestly. I'll actually be opening him in outlaw loot spec in case I can get a 421 main hand for outlaw, but otherwise I think you know we're looking at items with tertiaries or potentially a uh, potentially a socket for this week. But let's see what we get. Okay, so 421 gloves, we actually already have these. Uh, 421 bracers, which we can't really take because we have a, a engineering B-Res bracers with a socket and a neck, which has a socket. That's kind of nice, actually, but uh, I mean, I already have a lariat, so I'm I'm not going to take any of those things. I'm going to take the, the tokens. A little bit of a feels bad, but this is also, like, I think kind of expected at this point in the season. Um, and what key? 23 no -kud. I think that's actually a really good key. The uh, Sanguine's going to be tough. I'll talk about the, the affixes in a bit, but I think uh, I think Sanguine's going to be going to be a bit of a pain this week. All right, I'm going to switch over to the Druid now. Okay, we are on the Druid. Um, I've actually been playing a bunch of Guardian this past week, which has been a lot of fun. Um, Guardian is definitely like pretty easy to play, but is kind of punishing right now. It doesn't feel very strong, but it's still fun to play. Um, I'm not doing anything too crazy. I think I like did like a 17 or something like that. It's been it's been pretty fun to try out though. But in terms of what gear I need, um, let's see. I think I'll open on Feral Loot Spec because I ended up crafting this weapon, which has... I, I try to pick secondaries that were good for both Bear and Feral. I think what I really would have wanted would be Crit Mastery for Feral and then Haste Verse for Bear. Unfortunately, they have like totally different stats. Um, but yeah, so I have this weapon. I'd like to get a better weapon for one of them. And then recraft this to you know something that that works better for for the other spec. But all of the other slots are going to be good for for me um, on both barrel and resto and bear. So we'll uh, let's see what we actually end up getting. Let me switch this over to barrel loot spec, and let's see what item we actually end up getting. Okay, so 415 head, that's pretty nice actually. 415 gloves, we already have 418 gloves. And then uh, really kind of low item level boots, we can't take those. I think we take the head, that's uh, that's pretty nice. Fortunately, I lose a bit of leech, but, oh, and actually, hmm. oh yeah, that's tough. So I'd lose the leech and 415 is actually, you know, I could get to that item level just with dumping a bunch of valor into this helmet. So I, I save the Valor by getting this, but I lose the Leech. I think I'll take the tokens, actually. Um, yeah, long term, I think the the Leech leech Helmet is, is going to be a little better than... You know, leech Helmet plus the uh, extra socket is going to be better than saving the Valor for now. So I think this is what I'm going to go with. And what do we get? We get an 18 key, so that's cool. 18 Azure Vault. Okay. 
so that's that's fine. That's a that's a pretty good key. I don't think Sanguine's gonna be too awful. I guess there's like a couple of mobs that will just like stand and cast something and could potentially get a lot of healing in Sanguine. That kind of sucks, but yeah. I mean, in general, I think the next few weeks are kind of bad for M plus. Um, I think the uh, where's my key? Yeah, so we have a few weeks of kind of crappy affixes ahead of us. So Sanguine is like th this is like an okay Sanguine week, I think. Um, you know, Tyran Sanguine is is pretty good, but you know you're always going to lose some time to Sanguine, so it makes all of your keys a little tighter on the timer. No matter how how well you play Sanguine, you're gonna have some Sanguine healing. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, on the Rogue, I've actually started just playing wound poison all of the time in sanguine weeks and that's been pretty nice you know you lose a little bit of damage i think i lose like half a percent damage or one percent overall dps but a 30 percent reduction on sanguine healing is like really valuable the amount of uh effective damage that ends up doing is way more than instant poison so it's just way better for the dungeon timer to do that um on druid we will be playing typhoon in basically every spec this is going to be like our main way of of helping the team deal with sanguine so always play typhoon uh, be really careful when you're dropping ursuls you don't want to be you know getting a bunch of mobs stuck together that are going to start dropping sanguine and full healing each other so keep that in mind um explosives is just not fun right like it's tyrant week so we're going to want to pull big uh all of the trash pulls to try to make up time that we're losing on these big tyrant bosses and explosives makes that just super dangerous so um if you're playing sub rogue you're just going to be auto attacking the uh the explosives that are near you in aoe that's like pretty effective we don't really care what we're targeting we lose a little bit of dps but we can just be mostly pressing you know shirk and storm and black powder um of course if you're like in the middle of your cooldowns you're not going to want to be you know targeting the uh targeting the explosives but but that should be pretty rare uh, so it's good to help out there and then druid is actually like insanely good at dealing with explosives because all of our healing you know we're setting up all of our hots and then we can be just pressing moonfire to clear out the explosives or cat weaving and having that nice fast auto attack to deal with the explosives bear is kind of the same right you've got moonfire that you can just spam and you can clear out a ton of explosives that way so once you're ramped and you're you know you've got your your mitigation rolling and moon fires on all the mobs you can be you can be clearing out explosives really well as bear um i don't think feral is like all that good at dealing with explosives i, I guess in aoe it's not a big deal because you're just pressing brutal slash and primal wrath over and over again um i guess you're spamming out some moon fires too but or no they're not moon fires that's yeah feral doesn't play moon fire but um yeah, so you're just going to be auto attacking in melee range any of the uh, the explosives that are there. Yeah, definitely not a fun week. Unfortunately, the next few weeks are are kind of beans. So yeah, just you know try to enjoy it, play some alts, have some fun, chill with your buddies, you know, get some score if you can. But yeah, don't don't stress about it. The next few weeks kind of suck. But all right, that's all I've got for you. I hope you get some sweet loot in your vaults, some some key that you really needed for score. Uh, that you can you can time on sanguine week and good luck